Good morning, printmakers. Today we're gonna to go over the technique of pochoir, which is a French word meaning stencil. It's spelled P-O-R-C-H-O-I-R. Um, so what I'm doing is I took the cover of a coloring book that's a little bit harder paper, a little bit thicker paper, and I just cut out some really cheesy quick stencils, so some shapes. For your project, I want you to create a narrative so a narrative is not an abstraction. So I don't want you to just cut out hearts and triangles and squares like I did. I want you to create a story. So you could have a cloud with raindrops, with a pasture. I want you to have at least four stencils on your plate. And I want it to mean something. I want someone to be able to look at it and know what it represents. Like a photograph of sorts. Instead of something that's just shapes dancing around a space. So I went ahead and colored my, inked up my plate, which is kind of already drying. Um, so I did this with acrylic, just so it would be faster, but actually it doesn't really need to be acrylic. You can use oil ink on this. I'm going to be using oil inks on my stencils. I found that the oil inks work better when you're inking up your stencils. They don't soak into the stencil as quickly as the acrylic paint does, but that does not mean you can't use acrylics. I just think I've had better luck with the oil ink, so I'm gonna use oils. You can use acrylics, but just try them out. You're definitely gonna need a heavier bodied acrylic paint for these, I believe, but you can test it out and see what works. But I'm using acrylic paint to ink up my gel plate, and then I have oil inks right here that I'm gonna be using for the stencils. So, don't need my, so I have my stencils, so I'm gonna shift my gel plate over. I'm gonna ink up these stencils, these really cheesy stencils. I wear gloves, but you don't have to. Um, the easiest way to get oil off of your hands is with like a dish soap or baby oil. So literally washing your hands with baby oil. Water does not help. So don't use water, just use the baby oil. And once you get, um, once you get the paint off of your hands, then you can rinse with soap and water. Okay, so that was a green little heart I put on there. I have purple ink too. Use some purple. Again, think about think about what what story you want to tell, what your narrative is going to be. Think about the colors. Think about your composition. All of that matters. I use a little stir stick to hold down my stencils as I'm doing this because if you're using your fingers to hold them down, you will get some of the ink off onto your fingers. So you want to be really careful. So I'm placing them up top, you can see that they're inked and the ink is facing up. So I have a square. So for your project, I want you to use at least four stencils. And I want your four stencils to create a narrative. And again, you don't need to use your gel plate. You can put these stencils directly on the page, your final image, your final image paper. See, put that there, and then I have one left. So think about how thick you want your stencils to be. The thicker your stencil, the bigger the white line around your stencil will be on your image on your final project. So that's that. And then I have a pair of lips that I'm gonna try. It didn't work out last time because this paper is really not great, but I'm gonna try again. See if I can get something to work. Last time I did it with acrylic ink and I just don't think that the acrylic works very well. So. And again, I covered my workstation with this floor protector. I'm still using the same roll. I just fold it over every single time to get a new, 
a new clean section, but that way I'm using both sides of the paper. detail for my lips. So you can build layers on top of layers on your stencil. They don't they don't need to be dropped in four little corners like I did. I'm just showing you how to do this. They could be built on top of each other to give something more detail. Like this is hopefully going to be giving my lips a little more detail. But this paper is curling up so much I don't know how well it's going to work. Sometimes if you push it down and it touches the ink below it, it'll stick a little better. But the more you move your stencils around, the more you're agitating the ink. So, okay, I'm gonna keep that like that. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six stencils on there. And I'm going to show you my stencils. See how they're kind of, they're they're each in a different corner, but the lips one are on top of each other. And then I'm going to get a clean workspace so I don't get my paper dirty. Okay, so I can shift this over. Again, you can use a scraper, you can use your hands, you can use a spoon to burnish. If you want something specific, if you, you really could burnish a section harder than the rest and it would come out darker than the rest. So it's however you want your final image to be. I know this one's dirty, so skeptical to use this, but I'll try to wipe it. Hopefully this won't be too bad. Okay, so I'm going to burnish. Make sure I get all the edges. Make sure I get all my stencils. Should be good. Okay. Alrighty. Sweet. Okay, so you see all of my, you see my stencils, they're different colors. You can see that this stencil and this stencil, the, my purple ink definitely wasn't on there thick enough. But do you see how every stencil does have a white line around it? That's what I was talking about. So these are just like the, the front flap of a coloring book. So it is thick paper, but it's definitely not the size of cardboard in thickness. So if you got a piece of foam or you got cardboard or you got cardstock, Anything that's thicker is going to have a thicker white line around it because the thicker the material, the thicker the white line. So overall, I kind of like the patchiness of my blue, but clearly this is a very simple pochoir and you're gonna do a way more interesting image. But again, you do not need the, the gel plate for this and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's see. 
Okay, this is a piece, another mono print that I already had. It's blue. It's dry, so that's a winner for me. Okay, so we will take this back over here and I'll show you what I mean by you don't need your gel plate for this one. If you don't want this, you could use, so you really could use a dried one. Say you have a mono print that you absolutely love and, but you wanna add, like you love the color and you wanna add that to the background, you can do that. Or you don't need a background. You could just do, if I wanna do a new one on this, what I would do is I would ink these up. Let's see, take my gloves off. Now I'm gonna get really dirty. Get some more ink out of here. I try not to use a lot of ink. I try not to get a lot out at a time because I don't want to waste it if I don't use it. So I do go back for more pretty frequently. Sometimes I go crazy and I think I don't want to go back for more and then I throw it away and I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to ink these up. Actually, I'm going to put a glove on because I know this is going to get pretty messy pretty fast. Uh-oh, my stencil just rolled up there. And that happens sometimes. Okay, so the way that you build it, if you don't want to use your gel plate, is you're actually going to build it face down instead of face up. So this is my stencil. So I'm going to look at my paper and decide. So this is how my paper is going to be situated. I'm going to figure out how do I want this green heart on my paper. And then I'll put it there. Push it down a little bit. And then I'll go to my next stencil that I have. Notice how I took off my glove. My hands are getting dirty. It's always an internal dialogue I have. My brain is telling me to put on a glove, but I don't really like wearing gloves. Okay, stencil's getting caught up in my roller again. That does happen. Oh, so my really cool square stencil put right here. Notice I'm, I've already gotten this dirty. So you wanna be really careful. See, my dirty hands are getting my paper dirty because that's not where I wanted my stencil and now I have a green spot. So keep the, that th those things in mind because that would be something you would wanna redo this for. Pull up another stencil. Okay, here's another. So again, you want to think about your composition. You want to think about the colors. You want to think about your background. You need four stencils. That doesn't mean the background, but your whole background could be a stencil. Okay, now I'm going to put this one right here. Really a boring composition, but that way you can see. So once you have that, then you're going to take something to cover, which I need to look for another mono print. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. Move my plate. Okay, and this really is just to protect your paper. So I'm gonna put this down and then you're going to scrape away. And you could build this one stencil at a time if you needed to. Okay, so that is not part of it. So then you take your little scraper and you start prying them up. So on this one, you did them face down and you place them. I place them. Sometimes when you scrape them really good, they stick really good. Okay, 
So then this would be the, you not using a gel plate and just putting the stencils on. So I would, I prefer the other way of doing it. I think the other way is easier for me. It also helps hide any mistakes. If you have mistakes and you're dirty like I am, maybe that's why that's my preference. But again, you could do one stencil at a time. You could do one blue mono print. You could do one stencil. You could come back the next day when it's dry, do another stencil and you can build on it like that. It is harder. The more moves, the more things you have moving around, the harder it's going to be. So I'm asking for four, but again, you don't have to do four all at once. Um, you could do them all one at a time, but you wanna make sure your ink is really solid. My ink's not solid and clearly I keep touching this. So this is getting really, really dirty, which you're not going to want on your final, on your final pochoir project, okay? Good luck.